Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Well, today is another really exciting day here at the shop because every now and then, I've been lucky to be invited to a small group of testers that has access to a brand new product from a company weeks before it's released to the public. And normally that conversation starts out with a voicemail or an email that's nondescript, it's very James Bond-like, not a lot of details. And what the company is asking is this, Rick, We've got a brand new product coming out in a couple of weeks that we think you'll be interested in. Would you like to test it? So I have to think for about a millisecond before I respond and go, absolutely, when can I get some details on it? They won't tell you anything. So until you sign the NDA, everything is kept quiet. You have no idea what the product looks like, product name, product specifications, none of that stuff. So I download the NDA, I sign it, I shoot it back to them, and they send me a bunch of details. Not the product yet, but the details. So I'm reading through the details, and the more I read, the more excited I get because I'm reading the specifications, and I'm thinking, well, that's amazing. Well, that's pretty cool. I can't believe it does that, but the product's not here yet. So sometimes you wait a week or two, and lo and behold, this morning, the doorbell rings, I walk out in the front porch, and there's this nondescript brown box. I rip it open, and inside that box is the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, I can't tell you how much restraint it has taken for me not to rip this box open, charge up the drone, and get it up in the air, but anytime I get a new product, I always like to spend a few minutes on the channel unboxing it together because I get super excited with any new technology. Being a nerd, if it runs on electrons, I want to play with it. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get this guy charged up and up in the air, but I thought I'd open it in front of you because an unboxing video can be fairly boring, but I'd share the excitement with you by opening up the box and people seem to like that. So I'm going to tear into it for a second. But before I do, the Mini 3 Pro, this product in front of me, represents really four stages of evolution for DJI because to be fair, DJI started this whole mini drone revolution a few years back when they introduced the original DJI Mini. Now you could argue there were light drones before that, but DJI was the first company that built a sub 250 gram drone that really had sophisticated features. A lot of the other drones were toy drones under that weight limit and they flew okay, but they'd go drifting and stuff outside, didn't have a lot of features. DJI basically took their Mavic product, which was a heavy drone, and somehow shrunk it down in a shrink machine to fit it into that mini mini profile, that original mini profile. And then they came out with the Mini 2, the Mini SE, and now the Mini 3 Pro. And the reason I'm so jazzed about this drone, because I fly all the DJI drones. I go way back to the early days of the Phantom products. I fly everybody's drone. But what excites me about the Mini series in particular is they're small, they're portable, they're quiet in the air, they have phenomenal capabilities. And what this Mini 3 Pro represents is really the pinnacle of a small drone that's easy to take on vacation, it's easy to fly, it's incredibly safe, and I'm getting way ahead of myself because I haven't tested it yet. But let me let me say one more thing. Uh, I have this drone now for a couple of weeks, so it's gonna be kind of weird because you're viewing this today as an unboxing, and DJI just announced the drone today, but I've had it for several weeks. So between the time I've created this clip and now, which is kind of a time shift, I've actually had a lot of time with it. So I'm sure I've had it out flying it like crazy. I've probably crashed it a few times, but what I'm gonna do today is just the unboxing and maybe some specifications so you understand exactly what's in the box. Now, normally, I do a really long clip. I'll do an unboxing, a closer look, a specifications. I'll take it out for a first flight. I'll do some flight footage, but that's that's a 40 minute clip. And I've had a lot of people say, Rick, I'm not sitting through a 40 minute clip. So I thought, let me start off with a short clip where I do the unboxing. I'll follow that with a closer look. I'll follow it with my first flight video. I'll put a flight reel together and put that up. I'll do some comparisons between this and the other minis that are on the market today. I'll show you the controller. I'll show you all the connections you need. I'll do a clip on accessories and other things about the drone. So there'll be a ton of clips coming. I'll put a whole series together, but today we're just gonna get into the unboxing. And I promise you, I've had a lot of coffee today, but I'm so jazzed to get into this because I think without even opening the box, this is going to be the drone of the summer, quite honestly. It's coming out right at the right time where people are starting to think about getting back out in the wild outdoors, flying a drone, having a lot of fun with families on vacation. We're coming out of the whole pandemic thing for the most part, so people are feeling a little bit more free outside where they can get around, and I think this drone is going to be a really hot commodity. So enough talking, let's get inside of it. So what I have in front of me here is the Mini 3 Pro, and it's the, uh, the one with the uh, RC on it that's got the screen. Now, they're going to release this in two different versions. They'll have one that has a simple controller. I believe they're going to release it. And again, it's really early. I've only got scant details on this. They're going to also release it. I believe it's just the drone that you can use if you have an Air 2S controller or a Mini 2 controller to fly it. They're also going to release one like this that's got this beautiful, what I'll call smart controller in it, where it's got the screen built into it. Now, I love the fact 
that it's a combined unit. And I've talked about that before when I've had the smart controller for some of the other drones. The reason the smart controller works for me is that I charge one thing and head out. I don't have to worry about my phone being charged and the cable going bad. It's all in one unit, but you have a couple of different ways to buy it. This one today is going to be the Mini 3 Pro with the smart controller. And I'll get into some of the details as well around the batteries because there's two different versions of batteries coming out as well. But enough talking, let's get into the box. So I'm going to pop it open. Now I've got my slice right here. I don't like to use a knife or a razor. This is a beautiful device. I haven't talked about it too much on the channel, but I love these products. All right, so let me get it open. I don't want to rip anything here. Let me just pull the front maybe down here. Yeah, that's good. You can see the plastic's still on there. I haven't opened this thing up yet. And man, I'm telling you, this morning after breakfast, I'm thinking, I got to get into the box. I got to get downstairs and do the unboxing. All right, so the plastic is off. Let me get this out of the way. There's the box. Oh, the front's popping open already. So a different kind of a box. They normally have the flap in the top that opens up. This one opens from the front. So let me, let me peel it open and take a look. And by the way, before I open this, because I know once I open it, everybody's going to go nuts. There were a lot of rumors out there about what this product was going to do. And it's hard for me because I signed the NDA, which means I got to go dead silent. I can't talk to anybody. My wife doesn't even know about this. I had to sneak it down the basement. I felt like I was breaking the rules. But there were a lot of rumors up about what this product could do. Some were close, some were way off the money, but I find it interesting and I enjoy it as well that there's conversations going on. But today you're going to actually see the product. So let me open the box. All right, so there's the drone. <laughs> oh man, I know it sounds like I'm a nut every time I get excited opening up a new drone, but I promise you it's just that I appreciate what kind of technology went into building this product and I can't wait to see what it can do out there in the field. So there's the drone. I'll unwrap that in a second. It's a huge difference in the form factor between the Mini 2 and the Mini 3. All right, and then there's a little, uh, little thing here that holds it, a little nice little cave piece here. And in the bottom, there's the controller. <laughs> there's the controller. Man, oh, okay, put that aside. There's the drone and the controller. What else is in here? Oh, there's another box. Okay, and there's some desiccant in there. Now, I always say about the desiccant, don't leave this laying around. Kids like to eat this stuff and they can get really sick but hang on to it. I usually put a Ziploc bag together with a bunch of desiccants in it because if you drop your phone in water, there's no better way to clean that up than to throw it in a Ziploc bag with a lot of desiccant in there. So hang on to those, but keep them away from the kids because they, they're pretty tasty. I'm sure when the kids get into it, there's going to be trouble. All right, so I'll open this last because I can't wait to get into this stuff. So let's take a look at the drone first. It's in a nice little bag here, a little poly bag. Let me open this guy up. I'm going to be gentle because I don't want to break anything because it's so small. Now this drone weighs 249 grams, which is under the 250 gram weight limit. And the reason that's super important, man, this bag is tough to open. The reason that's important is because in the U.S., if you're under 250 grams, you don't officially have to register the drone. Now I always recommend registering a drone anyway, because if you slap any accessories on the drone, you're going to have to register it. I'm not sure I can get into this bag. Oh man, this is tough. All right, so register your drone. It's, it's $5. You can register a bunch of drones. You can fly it for a couple of years. Not a big deal. Um, if you're outside the U.S., though, that 250-gram limit really matters because you may have to take tests. You may have to get insurance. You may have to register the drone. So I love the fact that a 250-gram drone is a drone, but it's not really an official drone because you don't have to register it. All right, so, oh, man, this is, this is unique. Just give me a second to, to get a, look, a little better look at this guy. Man, this is gorgeous. All right, so this is the Mini 3 Pro. And there were some major changes on this. So the first thing you'll notice is on the top, you have two forward sensing visual sensors. They're stereoscopic sensors that are for crash avoidance. So you've got crash avoidance in the front. You'll also notice that there are sensors on the bottom. So I've got two stereoscopic sensors on the bottom as well. And that's to help avoid uh, any issues below it. Now let me swing the arms out because the way these arms come out are different. So the top arms come back towards me. And the bottom arms would normally swing out, but they swing down and out which is kind of cool. So they're below the drone, which gives it a little bit of higher flight. And then there are rear sensors as well that are right here that are looking back over the body of the drone, I believe. So I've got rear sensing, front sensing, and down sensing. And uh, man, it's a beautiful drone. Just a really nice construction. Everything looks totally professional. The fit and form of this thing is absolutely amazing. And again, it's sub 250, about 249 grams. The battery pops in from the back right here. So you'll basically squeeze these two and pull it out. And I've got a sticker holding it in, so let me get that off. And I'll take a closer look at this in a minute, but just for a second, I want to give it a look. All right, so USB-C charging on the back, which is really great. It probably fast charges as well. I'll test all this stuff, but fast charging means if you have a PD charger that's over 30 watts, you probably want to go a little higher, maybe a 65 watt charger. Plug it in there, it'll fast charge the battery. To the right of that is a micro SD card slot, so that's where you put your memory card in. 
you get the battery out. So I'll squeeze these two together and pull the battery out. So it slides into the bottom of the unit and it is larger than a Mini 2 battery. So it's a different form completely. So if you have a question about, can I use my Mini 2 batteries in this? You can't, they're different. Slide it in and you'll hear it click in. So it's got a really nice firm click. And then the front has got a really nice gimbal cover on it that'll reveal the camera. Now I'm gonna pop this off and take a look at the camera because it's a larger camera. They've actually gone to a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which gives you a much better view. It's also 4K at 60 frames a second. It'll do 1080p at 120 frames a second. So you can get some really nice slow-mo up there. But the thing that's unique about this is it's got a, it's got a gimbal on it that will, will spin vertically. So it does horizontal like we normally do. And it's got a wide field of view. It's about 90 degrees field of view in the front, but it also flips, look at that, vertically. So you can actually do vertical videos as well as horizontal videos. So two things right out of the gate that are different between the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 are I can do vertical pictures. I can also have crash avoidance built in front, back, and bottom, which is a big improvement. I know a lot of people out there were really concerned about that and wanted to have that in their drone. So very nice feature there. Boy, this is really cool. Now, as I mentioned, there are two different styles of batteries. To stay under 249 grams, you're gonna use the basic battery, which is gonna give you about 34 minutes of flight time. There's a larger battery available as well called the Plus battery. That'll give you 42 minutes of flight time, but it puts, over, puts it over the 250 gram limit. So if you're in a country where that really matters, um, you probably wouldn't want to put it in there unless you're willing to deal with any of the restrictions over that 250 gram limit. If you're in the US, like I said, if you register it, not a big deal, $5, you can use the bigger battery and fly it to your heart's content. I love the fact that I've got a choice between those batteries. So when I travel in other countries, I can use the lighter battery if I have to in that country to adhere to their laws. Or in the States, if I need more time, I'll just put the bigger battery in it. So there's the drone. What a beautiful drone. Man, oh man, I cannot wait to get this thing up in the air. I'm gonna be outside, ooh, I'm gonna be outside in an hour flying this thing, I promise you, as soon as I get these batteries charged. All right, let's look at the controller next because this blew me away that they're releasing this with a smart controller and it has roughly the same form factor as the controller, the normal controller. Now this is called the RC Pro controller. They're also releasing it with an RC-N1, which is pretty much the same controller you've got on the Mini 2 today. But this is like, again, a shrunk down version of their smart controller and boy, this just feels natural in your hands. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a screen on it that's about the same size as my large iPhone screen, so I like that an awful lot. Boy, this is a beauty. Let's see some connections on the bottom here. Let's see what we got. I'm looking down here, and I've got a USB-C connection there. I've got a micro SD card slot right there, and I'll do close-ups of all of this to show you better views of it when I do the closer look. And it looks like another USB-C connection over there. So that's kind of interesting. Now, one of those might be an HDMI. I'll have to play around with it. I should have checked the specs on that, and I didn't, and I apologize. But uh, they actually both look like USB-Cs. But anyway, I'll look into that, and we'll get further details on that. And your sticks are right back here, so there's a nice place to hold your sticks. I normally don't take the sticks off when I'm flying because I'm an older guy, and I have, I have seven thumbs, it seems like, on my fingers. And I drop stuff all the time when I'm out in the field. And the last thing I want to do is be on my hands and knees trying to find a tiny little joystick that I've dropped in the grass because I've taken it off the controller. So my case, I'll hold it nicely, and I'll leave the sticks on there. But, boy, this is a beautiful setup. Really, just a a natural feel to it it's got a nice grippy surface on the bottom the joysticks fall right under your thumbs and on the front you've got your picture and your record buttons as well as thumb wheels down here to control the way the gimbal's moving and underneath looks like two specialty buttons back here that i'm sure are programmable but everything falls right underneath your fingers really neatly so excellent job on the remote now let's look at the box i imagine there's going to be other cool things in here other goodies so let's see what you get with the basic kit and we've got a bunch of manuals looks like a couple of different manuals uh basic instructions, warranty, battery information, safety guide, and some other details about flying your drone. So read through these. I know that it can be a fairly boring exercise to read through manuals, and a lot of us just want to get to the flying, but there's a lot of really good information in the manuals that'll tell you how to use the drone, how to use it safely, how to charge it safely, how to protect it, and you'll get a lot of value out of it by reading through the manuals. There'll be things in there you probably wouldn't understand unless you read through the manuals, and you don't want to be flying it and then weeks later realize, man, I didn't know it could do that. That's kind of cool. All right, spare set of propellers that come with it as well as the screws that attach those propellers on there. They give you a nice little screwdriver so you can change those propellers. So these are the same uh, mechanism to hold the propellers on a small screw there for each of the two blades. Now when you're changing your propellers, always change them as the set. Don't cheap out and just change one of them because they are balanced as a pair and you want to make sure you change both of them. Don't reuse the screws as well because there's Loctite in the threads and when you break that Loctite to take the old propellers off, putting the new propellers on, you want to use the new screws. Unless you've got some blue Loctite. Don't use the red Loctite. Always stick with blue because that'll come back out. If you use some of the other colors, you may never get the screw back out. 
All right, so there's also a cable here. It's a USB-C to USB-C. Now, what's interesting is the basic kit, from everything I can tell, does not come with a charger. So if you've got a USB-C charger, as long as it's a 30 watt or higher, you can use that to charge the drone. Again, if you want to fast charge it, it has to be a PD level charger. But it's interesting, they've moved away from the USB-A on one end and are now just a USB-C to USB-C. And that's a good thing because that interface, the USB-C, is the interface going forward for all the major mature chargers and all the other things that are out there on the market today. So they've completely abandoned both the micro USB and the USB-A, which I say kudos to you. Everybody else is getting there as well. So that's a good thing. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. And again, <laughs> I know I went through this kind of quick. Specification-wise, it's a better drone than the Mini 2, and it's got some advanced features built into it that the Mini 2 doesn't provide. Now, I haven't done any comparisons against some of the other brands of drones out there, but I think what DJI is trying to do with this particular release is, number one, they've learned from their experience on the original Mini, the Mini SE, and the Mini 2, and they've built all of that experience into the Mini 3 Pro. And in addition to that, they've listened to people that want that crash avoidance built in, which, by the way, is not a small feat to build crash avoidance into a drone this small because it's not just a matter of fitting the sensors on the drone. It's a matter of having enough, horse, enough horsepower in the processing inside the drone to actually handle picking up all that information and making sense of it and then taking evasive action to not run into things. And in addition to that, they've also upgraded the connection topology between the remote and the drone. It's now O3, which is going to deliver... A, uh, a 1080p stream back to the remote, this will fly 12 kilometers away. Now, don't fly 12 kilometers away because in the US we have a line of sight requirement where you can't fly ver further than you can visually keep an eye on it. So if you fly further than you can see, you're kind of breaking the rules. So don't do that. But having a stronger signal means I'm not going to have dropouts when I'm flying in locally and there's a lot of interference where there's buildings or trees in the way. So really cool there. Um, I just love the fact that this flies longer, it flies safer. And I can't tell you how excited I am to get this new smart controller out there or the pro controller and actually start flying this drone. So that's it for the unboxing. Now, next I'll take, uh, I'll do it through the specifications. I'll add that in the end of this. And then uh, I'm going to get outside and start flying it. So thanks enough lot for watching. Stay tuned for the specifications. After I do that, I may come back at the end and add a few more comments, but I think it's a winner. And again, I haven't flown it, but based on my experience with DJI and all the other drones they've built, if this can do half the things that the Mini 2 does, or I should say the new Air 2S does, this is going to be my drone of choice all summer. So I'll be flying this thing like crazy, and I'll have a ton of clips on the channel talking about it. So stay tuned next for the specifications. The new DJI Mini 3 Pro features a professional 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor that can deliver incredible 4K footage at 60 frames per second, as well as crisp 48 megapixel images through the use of its three-axis stabilized gimbal. The camera sports a 24 millimeter lens with an f1.7 aperture. A large 83 degree field of view helps you capture nice wide landscape shots without distortion. The Mini 3 also allows you to zoom up to four times while recording 1080p content and up to two times in 4K mode so you'll never miss a detail. Another unique upgrade the Mini 3 includes is the ability to flip the camera vertically to capture content in portrait mode, giving you a completely new perspective. Other innovations include three-direction obstacle avoidance in the front, rear, and bottom to keep you safe in flight, as well as the latest APAS 4.0 to help the drone navigate a clear path around obstacles when following a subject through complex terrain. The drone includes the latest O3 transmission technology that ensures a rock-solid connection up to 12 kilometers away, but should only be flown as far as you can maintain a visual line of sight for the drone. The standard 2453 mAh batteries provide a full 34 minutes of flight time on a single charge. There is also a larger plus battery available with a capacity of 3850 mAh that can deliver an astounding 47 minutes of flight time. Keep in mind that the larger plus battery will put the Mini 3 weight above the 249 gram limit, and both batteries are interchangeable and can be quick charged with the standard QC charger when needed. The Mini 3 also has improved flight characteristics over previous generations, which allow it to be flown in level 5 winds up to 10.7 meters per second. With one button takeoff and landing, rock solid GPS, Galileo, and Baidu positioning, and automated return to home, the Mini 3 always knows where it is in the air and can easily find its way back to its takeoff point to land safely if needed. 
The updated DJI Fly application includes quick shot modes for the Mini 3 Pro that will guide the drone through a set of pre-programmed flight patterns to make capturing that perfect shot easier for new flyers. You can also use the time-lapse feature to create a stunning clip where it seems like you're compressing time. The software also includes master shots to help you quickly capture and create a video for posting to your favorite social media page. There are two options available for controlling the Mini 3 Pro in flight. You can use the familiar RCN1 controller that was introduced with the Mini 2 drone, or there is an upgraded DJI RC controller with an integrated color display available. This new controller provides a full 1080p HD video feed from the drone back to the controller and includes an upgraded four antenna system for a rock solid connection to your drone. This new controller eliminates the need to connect your phone or tablet to fly and allows you to simply power up and start flying. The new DJI Mini 3 Pro is available in three different product versions. The DJI Mini 3 Pro standalone, which doesn't include a remote controller, the DJI Mini 3 Pro plus the RCN1 standard controller, and the DJI Mini 3 Pro plus the DJI RC controller. There are also two new Flymore kits available, the standard version, which includes two standard batteries, the charging hub, two propellers and a backpack, and the plus version that includes two plus batteries, the charging hub, two propeller sets, and a backpack. I hope those specifications were helpful, and I have to say, I am blown away by the fact that DJI could fit this much technology into a tiny little drone that weighs less than 250 grams, and I think what they've done is essentially learn from all the other drones they've built, and somehow, again, they've shrunk it down to fit into a tiny little package, and the perfect thing about a drone this size is, again, it's ultimately portable, which means you're going to take it with you everywhere, so you're going to go on vacation, you're going to run out to the store for an errand, and you think, well, I'm riding past that lake, let me take the drone and put it up in the air and capture some amazing footage. So I think this is going to be the drone to own for the summer. I also love the fact that they've upgraded the controller and they give you a choice between buying the controller with the display built into it or buying a regular controller or even using your controller if you have a Mini 2. I love the controller with the display built in because it eliminates all the hassles of making sure my phone has the application running, it's updated, the cables are working, I've charged everything. With this you have one controller, you stick a USB-C cable into it, you charge it up, you head out with your drone and your controller and you can fly to your heart's content. Now I promise you. I've got a ton more clips coming. The next clip I'll do is my first flight video where I'll record the first flight up in the air and give you some impressions on how the drone behaves when it's up in the air. I'll put a reel together of some footage because I love flying this thing at the farms nearby and down by the shore and a couple other cool places in the Pine Barrens just so you can get an idea of what the drone looks like when it's up in the air. And then I'll do some comparisons between this and the Mini 2 and some other drones on the market just to try and help you decide if this is the right drone for you because there are a lot of products out there in the market and I know there's a lot of strong opinions about manufacturers and different models and such, but what I try to do in this channel is to present the product as you see it, and I'll show you how I use it, and that may help you decide if it's the right product for you. Now, if you're interested in this, I've got a link below where you can go check it out on the DJI site. If you use that link to buy the product, we get a little credit, so if you want to support the channel, that's a great way to go. I will have a ton of accessories releasing for this product as well on the website, so keep an eye on the channel. But I got to tell you, if you haven't subscribed to Drone Valley yet, hit that subscribe button down there because I have a ton of really cool stuff coming over the next couple of weeks that you're not going to want to miss. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, <laughs> happy flying. Thank you.